A new store on the north side of Sioux Falls is ready for business. Fleet Farm off Interstate 29 near the Sanford Sports Complex will be open to the public on Friday. Now, this is the first Fleet Farm in the state. In tonight's Your Money Matters, we take a look inside and talk with the Fleet Farm CEO about why they chose to come to Sioux Falls. After 60 years in business, there are only 43 Fleet Farm stores in the U.S. CEO Derek Prell says that's a decision the Midwest-based business made on purpose. We're not that many stores. We like to be parts of our community, and we think that resonates well with the Midwest. So what sets Fleet Farm apart from the other outdoors and home repair stores? We, we view Fleet Farm as uh, one of America's most unique retailers. In fact, our most loyal customers have a saying for us, which is, if you can't find it at Fleet Farm, you probably didn't need it. Everything from the kitchen sink to hunting blinds and even a wood fire stove line the aisles. They also try to make sure their products are customized to the location they serve. For example, Prell says they've been stocking up more pheasant hunting gear in the Sioux Falls store than anywhere else. Whether it's outdoors, fixing anything from your home to your garden to your boat to your car, whether it's taking care of your family, we have clothing, housewares, even kind of nuts, candy, and snacks. Another thing Prell says makes Fleet Farm unique is the community involvement, something he believes will be very clear to everyone very soon. We have events all the time from our famous Toyland event, which is a great way to open up the holiday season, to supporting hunting and fishing events in the community. You're going to see Fleet Farm out and about. Um, again, we don't have many stores, so we like to really be involved when we build a store like this. If you couldn't tell from the video, the store is pretty big at 185,000 square feet. There's also an auto center and an outdoor section with garden and yard products. Fleet Farm will have a grand opening for the public on Friday.